firearms. This is Air Guns Nirvana with a detailed look at my Crossman 1377. Now I don't suppose you can really call it a 1377 anymore as it's been pretty much modified into a 2289. And here's how I was able to achieve that. To start off with, I added a shoulder stock from Crossman. I also added an old style rear cocking knob. I installed a 22 steel breech. I happen to have a 22 brass bolt kicking about, so I modified it to take the steel bolt handle. Internally, the hammer has been polished. Also, the sear has been polished. A lightweight sear spring has been added, and a spent 22 shell casing was polished and used as a uh, sear spring guide. Over here, you can see the stock. Crossman trigger. I've polished and modified it. I'm calling this the Nirvana mod as I simply removed the uh, metal from uh, the top of the trigger here. Down here on the base of the frame, that little bit of metal that's normally there, I removed it. Working our way up to the slightly modified valve, and by slightly I mean that the valve spring is a lighter weight valve spring and the valve has been flat topped. Here you can see the uh, 2289 forearm. It arrived green, so I had to spray paint that black. Inside here you can see a bit of sticky felt that I've added to the pump tube that quietens it down while you're pumping it. Here you can see the flat top piston. It does not come with this felt oiler. I had to add that myself. Up here at the front of the gun, the uh, Pivot pin was replaced with a 3 16 inch drill bit. Um, front barrel band was replaced with a steel one. The, uh, the plastic barrel support here was modified and retained. I uh, took and ordered a uh, 2260 barrel. It arrived 24 inches long. I cut it down to 13 inches, recrowned it, and then uh, installed this muzzle brake. The uh, rings are leapers, high rings. The scope is a center point, 3 by 9 by 50. Please feel free to post questions and comments. I will do my best to answer any questions I can, and uh, further details are in the description. Thank you and have a good day.